As you may recall, a slider is the perfect tool for serving coffee. And a motorized slider is even perfect. Err. The Rhino Evo and ARC42 are the perfect combo if you want to start exploring the world of motion control, or MOCO. 42 inch is the perfect length being not too long to need an extra crew, but long enough to shoot parallax, interviews, video movements and time lapse. The Rhino slider moves smoothly, it's a breeze to set up, and it's easily controlled via the control bar. You can set it up for repetitive motion, a single move, or a time lapse. The actual slider have all the features we loved in the previous version. It's light, extra smooth, you can mount it on a tripod or two light stands, there is a locking mechanism to avoid accidental movement, and it comes in a gorgeous case. The control box is very intuitive when it works, but some things you have to get used to. Remember, this is pre-ups days, so there are some limitations. Once you figure these out, you're golden, and DIYP is here to help you have an easy ride. But first, cables. There are two cables, remote to motor and remote to arc. Make sure the cables are not in the way, especially that knotty coil cable which connects the motion to the arc. You'd want to make sure you follow the right startup sequence. First, you have to turn the arc on, then the controller. You also have to start by telling the controller that you use a 42 inch slider. You have to do this every time, even if you're only using a smaller slider. The EVO 42 and ARC are very easy to use and they excel in long movements, especially if you're utilizing the entire length of the slider. We could not find a way to calibrate the slider to a semi-slider move, say only a 24 inch move. You calibrate at the edges and hope you get the middle right. Who says that no app is bad? No app means tons of battery time, the EVO can run interviews for a full day with a decent load. We tested with the Sony a7 III with a Sigma Art Lens. Or it can shoot a time lapse for a full night. Like I said, movement is extremely smooth. But where the Rhino really shines is slow moves. There is no way you'd get a smooth shot like this from a human. Even better, it ramps. So the beginning and end of each move don't have that nasty bump. If you are using the full length of the slider, you should be up and running in seconds. Just mount the camera on the arc, turn it on, set your in and out keyframes, and hit go. The team here is in love with this Rhino combo and we full heartedly recommend it. For $1,750, this is one of the best motion sliders you can buy. Unless, of course, you are willing to wait for the 4-axis Rhino Arc 2. Udi Tirosh, DIY Photography, and I'll be seeing you around.